my sweet summer's gone She left me here with sand in my bed She played me all night long But I do it all over again Whoa. My sweet summer's gone And on my mirror she made it clear Her lipstick can't be wrong My summer, summer, my sweet summer is gone My sweet summer is gone Hey there, today I'm going to show you how I made this lace kimono. The materials that you are going to need include fabric of your choice, scissors, a thread and needle if you decide that you want to sew this by hand, and a sewing machine and pins if you want to use your sewing machine. The amount of fabric that you use really depends on you if you want your kimono to be short or if you want it to be really long down to your ankles, then you use a lot of fabric and if not then use less. I am using a little less than a yard and a half of fabric for my project. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your fabric and fold it in half, making sure that all the edges are aligned. Then grab the folded part of your fabric with one hand and, and place your other hand where you want your armhole to end. Where I'm holding it with my thumb and index finger is where I'm going to start sewing. So from this point I'm going to sew all along the edge until a couple inches before the bottom because I actually want a small slit. That is optional, you can sew all the way to the bottom if you want, or you can just stop short and leave a little slit. To make it easier on determining which parts you're going to sew, make sure that you add some pins on the areas where you're going to sew, which is the beginning of your armhole, all the way down to the slit or all the way down to the bottom. That way it doesn't move around when you're trying to sew. Because I wanted my sleeves to be very loose, I decided to make my armholes very big. They are 13 inches wide, so I basically measured 13 inches from the top of the fold, and then that's where I started sewing. So I actually do not have a sewing machine, so the way that I sewed the ends was by folding both of the ends a quarter inch and then sewing them by hand like this. If you do not wish to sew, I've never tried this before, but I have heard that fabric glue may work, so you can just maybe glue the sides together. I'm not really 100% sure if that really works or not, but if it does, be sure to let me know. So again, I began sewing 13 inches from the fold, and I know I didn't show you because it was super hard to film this, I could not get the whole fabric on camera. But if you find anything confusing, I'm also going to post diagrams on how I did it on my blog, and I'm going to link that down below. So now that you've sewed both sides and created your two armholes, your garment should look something like this. That was the slit, and up here is the armhole. So really, it's just a small portion where you're going to sew, just the sides. The final step is to lay your garment down with the fold on top, the sewn pieces on the side, and then the unsewn portion at the bottom. Now you're going to make sure that everything is even and aligned. Fold the garment so that the two sewn halves are touching and then indicate where the half point is on your garment by either marking it with a pen, pencil, some chalk or do what I did and make a small snip with your scissors to indicate where the middle is and when you're cutting this make sure that you only cut one side that side is going to be your front that's going to be the part where you actually get into the garment and if you cut the second piece, then you're going to have an open back. So after you've indicated where the half point is, you then unfold your garment, mark out the halfway point all the way to the top. Because my halfway point just so happened to land on a straight line of the design, I just had to follow that straight line all the way across. But that doesn't always happen, so if that doesn't happen to you, I would suggest grabbing a ruler or a piece of paper or anything that's going to help guide you all the way across the garment and then make a straight line from that little marking all the way to the top. And after that you're going to follow that line that you made all the way to the top of the fold. And remember, make sure that you're only cutting one side. And after you've reached all the way to the top of the fold, you are done. You have just made a fabulous kimono. Super easy, right? That was like three steps. So you can totally do this and make so many awesome kimonos with different fabrics and different lengths and you will be totally styling this spring and summer. Now if this video made it seem like it's very complicated to make a kimono, please click on the links down below and follow it to my blog post where I'm going to have a diagram and description of the steps you have to take and hopefully that will clear things up. 
because essentially the steps are to get fabric, align it, measure out where you want your armholes to be, sew the sides, and cut the middle. So I hope you found this video helpful and fun to watch. If you like these DIYs, be sure to click that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up as well as say hi on the comments down below. You really make my day when you leave a kind and thoughtful comment. Have lots of fun making your kimonos. Thank you again for watching and if you're subscribed then I will see you next time. Bye!